can't see anybody up here. Good evening. What a great night this is. I'm extremely nervous. I would sooner be standing on the foul line shooting a foul shot with the game tied and no time left on the clock. This is such a tremendous honor. I'm going to take the advice that I used to give to my students and my players, and that is I'm going to really try to enjoy this experience. I'm going to try not to cry, too. I would like to thank the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame Committee for this very prestigious award. Special thanks goes out to Rick Bromley, who is the Sport Heritage Manager, for making this experience so incredible. I enjoyed speaking with you on many occasions. You always made me feel so special. I would also like to thank the Manitoba Basketball Hall of Fame for nominating me. That is something that I will cherish and I will never forget. I would like to congratulate all the other inductees on their selection to the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame on this special night. To, Im to be included with this talented group is an incredible honor. I have seen many of you in action and I'm such a fan. All of you deserve this special recognition. My love for basketball started when I was in grade six. My dad put up a hoop on the garage and I spent hours working on my game. I thought I was ready for the big time, so I tried out for the grade seven basketball team at General Wolf. I got cut. <laughs> I was devastated. It's funny, I still remember the coach's name. We'll just call him Coach Don. This is a true story. A number of friends surprised me for dinner when I retired this past June. Coach Don was there, and all of his friends were still teasing him about cutting me 45 years ago. <laughs> Coach Don used to come to watch me play at the University of Winnipeg, and he's one of the nicest guys you could ever meet. And he's here tonight. And one, and one time after a game, he apologized for cutting me. Coach Don, there are no hard feelings. Your picture on my dartboard has far too many holes in it, <laughs> and I can't even tell it's you anymore. <laughs> I did make the team in grade eight. I bribed them. And the rest, as they say, is history. I was blessed to have so many great coaches along the way who inspired me to be the best player that I could be. They volunteered countless hours and not only helped me as a basketball player, but as a person. They helped me. Uh, they were tremendous examples and role models. They also let me shoot the ball, and I really appreciated that. Here are some of the coaches that I had. Ken and Wayne Bradshaw, and their dad, Mr. Bradshaw. Don Krampitz, Rick Bender, Dennis Russell, Angus Burr in high school. At the University of Winnipeg, Bruce Entz, Aubrey Ferris, and Larry Sawchuk. On the junior national team, Jack Kenyon. On the national team, Jack Donahue. With Nicolet Inn, Jim Bullock, St. Andrew's Super Saints, Irv Hannick, Western Canada Games, Dale Bradshaw and Dave Gus. There were other coaches who also inspired me like Vic Pruden, Ken Kelsch, Bill and Ross Wedlake. I also had the privilege to win the Carl Ridd and Mike Spack Awards. Both of these men were very inspirational to me. As you can see, these were some of the best coaches of all time. I was very fortunate to be coached and mentored by all of them. As a coach myself for 28 years at the high school level, 932 games to be exact, I can appreciate their hard work, sacrifice, and commitment. Words cannot adequately express my thanks. Basketball is a team game, and I played my whole career on great teams with great players. Some of the players that I mentioned that I will mention are in the Manitoba Basketball Hall of Fame and the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame. To be included with all of you is overwhelming. I still pinch myself every once in a while just to make sure that this is really happening. Many of you are here tonight and I want to thank you for accepting me and also for passing the ball to me. I owe you big time. Here are a few of the players that I had the privilege of playing basketball with and a whole bunch of these guys are here. Ron Hutzel, Ernie Koop, Bob Magel, Devin Daly, Belay Geffy. Martin Riley, Daryl Rumsey, Rick Watts, Bob Town, Ross Wedlake, Ted Stoves, Jaime Fox, Jay Triano, Leo Routens, Ted Upshaw, David Colthart, Jimmy Zote, just to mention a few names. These were the players, these were the who's who of basketball in our day. God has always been a very central part of my life. I have served him since I was a little boy 
to working in a Christian school at MBCI for the last 34 years. I want to thank God for his faithfulness and for blessing my life beyond comprehension. I also want to thank all of my family, and it's a good thing they're way over there, because if they were right there, I would need a whole bunch of crying towels. I also want to thank all of my family and friends for being here tonight and celebrating with me. The support that I have received from all of you over the years cannot be measured. Without you, this would have never been possible. To my children, Matthew and Jamie, thanks for listening to all my stories over and over again as you were growing up. See, I was telling you the truth. <laughs> I just wasn't making these things up about basketball. I have an incredible family, uh, just an amazing, incredible family. To my mom and dad, I can't imagine having better parents than you. You believed and supported me all of my life. Thanks for your great example of what it looks like to serve God and your family. My dad passed away a number of years ago, and tonight he would have been so proud of me. He was one of my biggest fans. He used to carry around newspaper articles in his wallet just in case someone brought something up about me. See, Matt and Jamie, I come by that honestly. <laughs> to my wife, Linda, when I was preparing this speech, she said to me, don't make this a sappy speech. I'm a little emotional. I said to her, for $25, I will say something nice about you. <laughs> her very quick reply was, and if you know Linda, this will make immediate sense, she said, you're going to have to pay me 50 bucks, or I'm going to tell everyone what a jerk you really are. <laughs> Linda, there has never been a dull moment with you over these last 40 years. You were my high school sweetheart and my best friend, and that still holds true to this day. I could have never achieved any of these things in my life without you. Thanks for always being there for me, and I love you. In closing... I would like to thank everyone for coming out tonight and making this so special for all of us inductees. Thanks once again to the Hall of Fame committee for selecting me and for treating me so well. I've had quite a year. I retired in June after 34 years of being a teacher, coach, and a vice principal at MBCI. I won a trip to Phoenix to see the Jets play the Arizona Coyotes on New Year's Eve and a game here. Another beautiful granddaughter was born, Autumn. She's here tonight. She's that cute little... Linda and I celebrated our 34th wedding anniversary and now being inducted into the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame. Wow, it's going to be pretty hard to beat 2015. Thank you so much for listening and enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you.